This is Visionathon. Visionathon. We are getting closer to the 300 responses. (laughs) Yes, we are. 300 responses and there's nine to go. And so that is fantastic. Uh, For those who love the numbers, we're currently sitting on 76,400 or just over. So to hit the next milestone of $80,000, we're looking for $3,600. And that's just if you're wondering and you're praying about it, what is the amount you should give? Well, that's the amount that's needed at the moment, 3,600. So give your best gift. I love this. I love this. We've got a uh, unofficial vision ambassador on the line with us, the amazing Peter. You're sitting out there with the birds, mate. I am sitting out with the birds. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It sounds like you're sitting in a beautiful place there, Eaton Hills in Queensland. Now, what 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 are we? Uh, what what's an unofficial vision vision ambassador do? Well, I go out and do some outreach quite often, every week actually, and I use the vision bookmarks and the vision. Um, uh, wristbands and uh, along with other tracks and things but I, I use the vision material I have uh, recently been saying to people picture when I hand them a bookmark I say picture it like one of those uh, electronic door openers that you put in the little slot and then the door will open mm. in your resort or something <laughs> like that because when you enter into vision it's just a huge place of beautiful music great teaching uh Uh, answers to prayer I see time and time again through the material on Vision Radio. Um, Yeah, That's awesome. Well, it's great to hear that you're opening those doors, Peter, for people to, I guess, experience all that Vision has to offer. And, I mean, even the fact that you're giving away prayer bookmarks, I mean, that's reminding them that there's a prayer service available. There's so much. But this uh, Visionathon, our theme is love in action. And I've got to say, I mean, I'm just reading some of the notes here about you and, and your story. And, Love in Action mm-hmm. is uh, profound. I mean, just tell us briefly a bit of your story from your early childhood where uh, your father actually killed your mother, but you yep. made a, a pretty amazing choice to put love into action uh, for your father later in life. Yeah, well, I can't take any credit for it. It was God who did it. Mm. His, the Lord spoke to me and said I had to find my dad I'd only ever visited him once in the 20 odd years that he'd spent in prison. Wow. And then the Lord said to me, you had to, I had to find my dad and I found him in the hospital in the intensive heart care ward. And, and it was that obedience to what God said. And, and in that, then he was showing me that I had to be free of the unforgiveness and bitterness of what had happened as a child before he passed away so that I had that opportunity while he was alive to, to do that. So, yeah. That's incredible. I cooked him meals, cooked him some meals and uh, wrote some letters for his family um, because he couldn't write anymore and um, sat him down one day and said, let's organise what you want for your funeral before you pass away because it'll be the only chance you're going to get to really influence your family in a good way. And we did that. And then he said, I'd like to be buried in the same plot as your mother. Wow. And, uh, I had to go to my three brothers and uh, say, well, my vote is yes. And uh, that's where he's buried. Wow. That is a that, that is a love in action wow. right there, Peter. Yeah, that's mm. incredible. Make your one-time donation or commit to ongoing monthly support quick and easy at vision.org.au. On the phone at 1800 316 316. Or click Donate in the free Vision Christian Media app. Together, Together. we can help Australia look to God daily.